So again, we're going to take out this first bolt here of the buttstock. Um, grab yourself a good screwdriver. I'm using a uh, Grace SS4, and that's the size of the screwdriver head. I'm going to put it in there, and then I'm going to make sure that it doesn't... I'm pretty square in here. And then unscrew that. And that's loose right there. So first thing I'm going to do, we'll just take this out. It's a, just a long bolt. All the threads are down here, which are basically going to lock down in on the other side. So you want to make sure that you take this and put it aside because there's going to be a bunch of bolts that you're going to take apart. So my suggestion when you're pulling off the buttstock is instead of holding your rifle like this, just flip your rifle up down, upside down and all the weight will be in this right hand and you know you can grip it. Then you can lay it up against the table that you're working on and then just grab down here and just slide it off easily and it'll come straight out. Okay, one thing you want to make sure is that you be very careful when you take this out. You don't want to strip this screw head right there. And just take that out. Make sure that you set your your screw bolts in an, a, an area where you know what goes where. So it looks like that. Um, you can just like doop, throw it right in there. And I know that that and the bolts don't drop. You can't lose them if you smack them or something like that. They just there's a magnet under. What we need to do is we have to take the finger lever out. That slides out just like that. So this upper portion of your lever, I'll show you here. So the lever itself goes into the bolt. There is a area right here that is a slotted opening. The lever goes in here. Let's pretend like it's in the, in the rifle. And then as you cock it, what's gonna happen is it's gonna move. It's gonna move the bolt back and then pull the lever in, the bolt goes forward. I hope that gives you a good idea of one of the reasons why when we're taking the rifle apart and we have the, the bolt is in here. There we go. Again, to show you if we have the orientation that we spoke about, and then you take and you just slide, move that forward just a little bit, slide that up. So this gives you an idea of what that's about. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the bolt out, just so that I clear it. One thing you can do is you can just hold the hammer down like this, and then the bolt should slide right out. Press down on the trigger here, and then we're gonna slide the bolt out. So that was pretty easy. We have the bolt here. So what we're looking at is showing you what the where the ejector sits as far as in the orientation of the bolt itself. So this ejector pin, as the bolt moves, the ejector pin is stationary. The bolt moves, is goes up and down in this groove in the bolt. So that gives you a little bit of an idea there. So when you're looking for the orientation of the bolt to put it back in, this has to be in the left side where we have the rifle's orientation right now. Here's the left side of the rifle. Here's the right side of the rifle. Here is the left side of the bolt. And this is the right side of the bolt. There is a firing pin up in here. And then there's a firing pin right there. So, and then your ejector.
the ejector goes right here. And if you could see this, there's a little hole, that hole, which is right there. That's where the ejector clip, so this little round dowel there, the orientation is that it is going to sit right in there. It looks just like that. So, and to take it out, all you have to do is just take your rifle and just turn it, shake it, and it is out. So the next thing we want to do is this spring here before we remove it with this uh, spring ten tensioner here for the for the uh, for the hammer. We would we want to take the hammer and we want to let the hammer fall, but we want to control the hammer fall. So in order to do that, this is a Marlin that was built in 1978. So there's a safety mechanism right here, this little pin, and you're going to need to press down on that, hold the trigger, and then at the same time pull this trigger and then just gently let the hammer fall down. That will reduce the tension in this spring right here. That's what we're trying to accomplish with this maneuver. Then what we can do is we can take, we, as you can see, there's this little slot, this little groove right there, and then we just basically push it out. In order to release this spring tension, um, hold on to your hammer. Then there's this little safety right down here. It's really small, but it's under a lot of pressure. Um, so you, that's where the lever pushes in. And then you just pull and let the hammer down real easy. And as you can see here, then we have reduced the tension on the spring, as you can see. And we have the hammer down. And now we push this little mechanism in that direction down. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to take your hand, put it up in here. And then the spring right here, I'm going to be pressing down. And this should slide right off. So there you go. And the spring comes down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the hammer screw. Um, this one right here. And it's a single screw goes all the way to the other side and it's only threaded on the left side of the receiver so um, when you put this in it actually seats or secures only to the thread uh, on the left side of the receiver not here so let's just take that bad boy out be careful not to strip those threads and that was actually kind of loose so what i did to help is I just took this little dowel and I put it and I just laid my rifle just like this and it, what that did is just put a little pressure on this bolt right here and out comes the bolt. So let's take a look a close up on this bolt to see like threads look threads look okay a little dirty just slightly but I don't see any major malfunction in there yeah there's some dirt on the threads like you can see it like right in there and stuff like that so we'll get that cleaned up. So a small one here, here's a small one. And one way you can tell is if you drop the bolt in there, um, you'll be able to see that it's this is the same kind of uh, engineering. It's got a head on this side and the threads are on the other side. So for the, the lever, the small bolt is gonna fit right in there by the time you screw it in and it's gonna seat well. If you were to take this larger bolt and slide it into the lever, then what's going to happen is it'll screw in, it'll screw in here, but you're going to have all this is just going to be like pointing out. And remember, there's even a larger bolt, which is this big long one that goes at your stock. So your butt stock. All right. So the next thing we need to do here is we're going to pull out the tr this mechanism right here. And... Okay, when you're taking the trigger out, um, it's going to come out the top here. So it just like goes straight out the top. But one thing you can do, you're going to have to kind of finesse this a little bit and just, you know, keep this down and then that'll come up and then just finesse it out. That's the hammer. All 
Make sure you seat your screwdriver in there and nice, nice and secure before you start turning. So you don't. So. Now, so now we have removed the trigger guard plate screw and we'll set that aside. So now we're going to remove the second bolt. Um, grab yourself a good screwdriver. I'm using a uh, Grace SS4 and that's the size of the screwdriver head. This is the trigger guard plate support screw and this is the smaller of the two screws that you take out. We'll set this screw aside for now. So to show you, here are the two bolts and the longer one right there that is the trigger guard plate screw that goes right in that large hole right there and our that one right there that I'm pointing at and then the smaller one that is the trigger guard plate support screw and that goes right there where I'm pointing so after we take this bolt out here underneath right next to the forearm and we take this bolt out here then this guard should come out you just kind of just wiggle it out kind of gently as you can see here it's already starting to to come out here right it's it's tight and I'm sure this hasn't been out in a while and uh, yeah it has not gone for a walk so you can see all this grime that's grime and dirt. So the receiver guard is what you're looking at. There is your trigger. So that's your trigger right there. And this is your little safety. That thing is like under tension. So when this, when this little right there, yeah. as you can see, that rocks up just like that. It's got a little spring load. So we have the receiver guard that is off and now we can look down into the receiver itself So now that was pretty loose. That was really loose. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be taking out this screw bolt that then we can take out this right here. So I'm using a smaller screwdriver. I think this one is a little bit too big. The width of the head, this smaller one, which should do it. Nice good angle on it, straight in. This one's gonna be tight. So I'm having a little bit of an issue here, trying to get that little guy right there out. And let me just try to show you here. So it looks like the previous owner had used an incorrect screwdriver. And there's a little bit of a, a lip right there. So this one's going to be a little delicate getting it off. So what I'm going to do is put a little CLP, mil spec CLP on there. And see if I can't get that to loosen up a little bit.
and that worked just fine. Perfect. I can feel the crunchiness in the threads. Yeah, that definitely was dirty. Stripped a little bit on the screw head, but also dirty. And you can see here, this just fell right out. We'll put that over there. And then this screw here. That is one small screw for mankind. When I um, put it back together, when I put the rifle back together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a flyweight loading gate spring. This is the Marlin for the Marlin 336, the 30844. I got this from Ranger Point Precision, and it does come with a little Allen head, a little wrench there, and a brand new screw right there. So you can see for comparison, this is the original screw that came out. And this one is the one that they sent from the Ranger Precision Point. It's got a little longer thread. So what I'm showing you right now is the original loading gate spring with the original screw. And then if you want to get a Ranger Point Precision loading gate, they send a lighter profile gate. And it's really light, but the, the original one is definitely metal. It's heavy. So at current, um, so at the current time, I have it stripped down, um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put back the um, the loading gate spring. This is here's the hole right there. We're going to put the screw, the new screw for the loading gate spring that was um, sent with Ranger Point Precision. So I'm going to put this. Try to put it. I'm going to put the receiver flat there. It's better if you have a nice angle like that. And let's do this. Where's that little Allen head? Right there, of course. So what we'll do is put the Allen head wrench in first. Give it a couple of reverse spins there. And make sure that the the gate doesn't drop out of the loop. There's a groove here. Just make sure that, that that arm to the loading gate spring doesn't come out of this groove. There's a groove on the inside, directly on the inside of this rifle on, on the receiver here on the Marlin. And as you can see, it's right here. So the one thing, um, this did fix it. All I had to do is just manually bend it. But as you can see, that there is, this is seated all the way, it's seated up against the receiver on the wall there, all the way from where the screw is, all the way down. If you get one of these and it's protruding, meaning there's space, um, there's space showing right here, like you can see, like open air, there's sky like right here, and then from like here to here. That means that this arm right here is, um, needs adjustment. So just adjust until it seats, you know, up in there. And so this worked pretty good. Um, we've got the screw in there and we've got the new loading gate in there. So one thing you want to make sure is that this, this uh, nut here is snug. So we'll snug this guy up, put that back in there, and we'll just give it a give it a snug. And you can see that's that's firm, but yet yeah, that's it's a lot easier. And it comes all the way back. One thing you want to make sure you you know there's always a chance of you you know pinching a finger and stuff like that. So I want to show you before we move on. Um, the loading gate here, okay? So this loading gate spring, um, I straightened the arm out up here, and now this is this is the wall of the receiver right here, what, which I'm pointing, right? And so here's the gate when I push down. See how there's, there? this is proper, this is the way it should be. 
this is, you know, you put your round in there and it should come all the way back up and secure right up in the lip of this receiver up in here. So that is properly placed in. And this, just to let you know, that is a Allen's head screw that we put in. And from time to time, you know, um, just check your screws and make sure that they're, they're secure and they don't rattle off or rattle out. So when you put the carry symbol in, it has a one bolt. The bolt goes through this end right here. And there is an area on the rifle, and I'll show you here, is this is where the bolt goes in. It's on the right side of the receiver. When you put the, the carrier assembly, I'm going to show you this right here. This is where it seats. So it goes right there. And then the bolt, you thread it in from this side over here. You're going to have to move the carrier assembly around a little bit to get the holes lined up. Let me get under here. Okay, there it is. So you can see the bolt right there. There's the bolt. So I'm going to put... There it goes. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to do is just going to let that carrier assembly, I'm just going to let it fall in there. Okay. Right down into the receiver. And again, we're looking from the bottom of the rifle down. So here's the orientation that we're working in right now. So, and we have... The carry assembly in, we're going to and so basically there's what that one bolt is just going up and down like this, okay? It's just kind of free like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the receiver, um, this guard, and triggers back. So make sure that you have your carry assembly in, you have your bolt lock in, and then this is going to seat right in here, and it's a tight fit. So just kind of gingerly. So that looks pretty good up on this end. And now I just need to, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna get the, um, put the bolts in for these guys. So there are two bolts. They look very similar. One's short and one is long. The long one is gonna go here and the short one's gonna go on the, the side. Oh, so one thing you just saw there. So I thought that this was completely in, and it wasn't. I mean, it looked great. It, uh, it was all lined up like right here. It was all tight. Um, it wasn't all the way in that direction, and you just heard me. What I did was I just pushed, I pushed this in this direction right here, and it went click. So now start to thread it. It will thread very nicely. So the next thing we want to do, we want to put the hammer in. In this orientation here, so open it like this, put it down, and then it is, just turn this little bar here, as you can see, I'm just like, just kind of nudging it in little by little. And then it'll sit just like, voila. So what I've done here is I put the rifle like this, orient it like this. So I've got the, the muzzle pointing down on the bench. And then for demonstration purposes, what I do is that I, 
Um, I just stand the rifle up on a table with the muzzle pointing down um, on the table. And what I do is put the spring in and then I put this assembly here, this bar. I get it all together right up here and then I take two fingers and put it on this side of the, the metal bar there. So let me go in a little closer. So you've got enough room on this little bar. You can put two fingers here. Then you can put two fingers on the other side like so. And then what I do is then I just keep pressing and I press it down in that direction towards the rifle barrel, towards the front sight. And I keep pressing until I can line up. This little bar will come down and it'll snap right in that little groove right there and then you're all set. So before we put the bolt in, the first thing we need to put in is the ejector pin. Now this ejector pin, it's going to sit, as you saw in the previous portion of this video in the beginning, that little dowel there is going to be sitting down. And what we want to do is we want to be right in that groove. So our next step is to put the bolt in. Here we have, we want to pull the trigger back. So now we're under tension. And then we have the bolt. It's oriented correctly. So just like this. And then we take it. So you want to pull your trigger back down a little bit. And then get your bolt oriented just right, right like this. So I'm going to stop right there for a second. I want to show you a different view. So right there is the ejector right and then here comes the bolt and if i keep pushing the bolt in it's going to slide so on the other side of the bolt that ejector is sliding in that groove that we spoke of and that's going to go that ejector is going to go up and down now up here uh, we want to orient this so that the bolt is sitting right here so here's your this is your hammer and you want the top of the notch of the hammer basically right in this area right here. So it's oriented right in this position. And the reason we're doing that is because the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the trigger lever and we're going to slide the trigger lever up here. And it needs to go into an opening that I spoke of earlier. There's this opening through the bolt. And that's where this gets engaged up in this bolt opening up here. So let's take a look at that. So what I'm going to do is I have my correct orientation. So the hammer and then the bolts were like right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the lever or the lever here and I'm going to put it right here. So this right here is going up into that open area in the bolt. So you just kind of finesse it. There you go. And now if I take this bolt right here and I slide, I'm going to slide the, uh, the bolt forward just a little bit. And you want the, this is like, give you a better orientation. This is where everything is located right now as far as orientation. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do is put the trigger lever bolt in. So, and it's this, this little small bolt. It's the last small bolt that you have. And the thread, let me just show you too also. The thread is on, there's just a thread, so it's going to thread over here on the left side. So you just kind of just move everything around until it drops in. And as you're doing this, just just kind of think and make sure that 
I know you didn't forget anything. Okay, do I, do I have everything? Is everything there? So, I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna push that through. There you go. So, sometimes it's easier when you're not on the camera, uh, video, video, making a video. So, here I am gonna make sure that I have a good seal on that screw with the screwdriver and then we'll just rotate the, the rifle off the table so it's not putting pressure on the threads as I'm threading it in and that's that is snug so we're gonna pull down on the hammer bring that forward Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put the last thing, the next step, the buttstock. So I found that it's pretty easy when you're taking off and putting the buttstock on is I just oriented the rifle so that it's upside down. And it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just get it in the groove there. And this is going to be a tight fit. It was pretty tight the first time. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of look at everything on both sides. Take your hand and just pound it up a little bit. So then we just want to put our bolt in. That drops really nice all the way straight through. Get yourself that screwdriver and know that you're almost done. So everything is back together and you just want to make sure that um, everything works properly. So, you know, um, just for the, because we're doing a video here and for the sake of, I don't have to hold the camera. Otherwise, I would, you know, be outside doing this, but um, your lever action here, that looks pretty good. The hammer's back, brought the hammer back, it's locked in, and then we want to just, we want to pull, hold the hammer and pull the trigger and just let the hammer fall by itself. So, again... And then that's a pretty smooth action.